Welcome to part two of my series about all of China's provinces. We start this video with Guizhou in southwestern China. It's bordered by Hunan to the east, Guangxi to the south, Yunnan to the west, Sichuan to the northwest, and Chongqing to the north. Its capital and largest city is Guiyang. There are several well-known sites here. Possibly most famous is Huangguoshu Waterfall, one of the largest in China and 20 meters higher than Niagara Falls. It's also famous for many villages populated by ethnic minorities, such as the Miao, Yi, and Dong peoples. Historians of China also know Guizhou as the site of the Zunyi Conference, where Mao Zedong first assumed leadership of the Chinese Communist Party. The name Guizhou comes from an older type of subdivision of China, the Zhou. There are many places in China that end in this character, but Guizhou is the only one that's a province. The others are mostly cities, like Guangzhou and Hangzhou. The Gui in Guizhou, according to most of the sources I read, refers to the Gui Mountains near Guiyang. Gui is also the most common one-character abbreviation for the province, though sometimes Qian is used instead. This is an old Warring States period name for the area. Hainan is an island in the South China Sea and China's southernmost province. To its north is the Chongzhou Strait, which separates it from Guangdong by only about 20 kilometers. To its west is the Gulf of Tonkin, across which is Vietnam. The capital and largest city is Haikou, and another famous city in the province is Sanya, China's southernmost city. It's well known as a seaside resort, which is popular with domestic and international travelers. Especially Russians wishing to escape their country's harsh winters. Many other parts of the island also have seaside destinations, such as coconut groves. Hainan also has interesting sites in the interior of the island, such as Wuzhi Mountain and even a tropical rainforest. The majority of Hainan's people are of China's Han majority, who speak a variety of Min Chinese that's closely related to the dialects of Fujian. There's also a large ethnic minority of Huai, or Li people, who speak their own language, a Kra Dai language that's related to Tai and Lao. The name Hainan means south of the sea in reference to its location south of the Chongzhou Strait. Chongzhou used to be the name of the island, and to this day, Chong is the one character abbreviation for the province. Hebei is in northern China and is perhaps the oddest province in the country in terms of its borders. Its strange shape is largely because two directly administered municipalities, Beijing and Tianjin, have been carved out of it. As a result of this, Hebei mostly surrounds Beijing, except for a portion of the latter which borders Tianjin. It also surrounds Tianjin, other than the latter's border with Beijing and its coastline on the Bohai Sea. Just to increase all the surrounding going on here, there is also an exclave of Hebei that is surrounded by Beijing and Tianjin. Other than Beijing and Tianjin, Hebei borders Shandong to the southeast, Henan to the south, Shanxi to the west, Inner Mongolia to the north, and Liaoning to the northeast, and it has two segments of coastline on the Bohai Sea to the east. Its capital and largest city is Shijiazhuang. Among its most famous sites are Shanghai Pass, the eastern end of the Great Wall, and Chengde Mountain Resort, where the Qing Dynasty emperors spent their summers to get out of Beijing's heat. The name Hebei means north of the river because the province is located north of the Yellow River. During the Qing Dynasty, when Beijing was still part of the province, it was called Zhili, which means directly ruled, since the imperial court ruled it directly instead of appointing a provincial governor. An older yet name for the area is Ji, which lives on today as Hebei's one-character abbreviation. Heilongjiang is in northeast China and is both the northernmost and easternmost province in the country. 
Domestically, it borders Jilin to the south and Inner Mongolia to the west. And it has an international border with Russia to the north and east. Its capital and largest city is Harbin. Each winter, this city hosts one of the largest attractions in the province. The Harbin Ice and Snow Festival, which features huge sculptures made of ice and snow lit up with many colors. The historical influence of nearby Russia means you can actually find historic Orthodox Christian churches in Heilongjiang, most famously the St. Sophia Cathedral in Harbin. Heilongjiang's forests are also among the only places in China where you can still find a small number of tigers in the wild. In terms of cuisine, Heilongjiang, like the rest of northeastern China, is famous for heavy, savory food. The name Heilongjiang literally means Black Dragon River, which is also the Chinese name for the river that forms the province's border with Russia, mostly known in English by the Russian name, the Amur River. The province's one character abbreviation is Hei, which is the first character of the full provincial name. Henan, in central China, is surrounded by Anhui to the east, Hubei to the south, Shanxi to the west, Shanxi to the northwest, Hebei to the north, and Shandong to the northeast. Its capital and largest city is Zhengzhou. Henan is famous for being the birthplace of Chinese civilization. It's where the first dynasty, of which we have any good archaeological evidence, the Shang, was centered. Its capital, in modern Anyang, is also the first place we have any record of Chinese characters being used when they were written on oracle bones that were used by the Shang court for divination. Henan also has many famous sites, such as the Shaolin Temple, famous for its Kung Fu, and the Longman Grottoes, famous for their Buddhist artwork. The city of Kaifeng was once China's capital and is also known for being home to one of the only local Chinese populations of Jews. The name Henan means south of the river, referring to the Yellow River though actually the river runs through the province, so that only about three quarters of Henan is actually south of the river. The one character abbreviation is Yu, after Yu Zhou state that existed in the area during the Han dynasty. Just south of Henan is Hubei, another province in central China. In addition to Henan to the north, it borders Anhui to the east, Jiangxi to the southeast, Hunan to the south, Chongqing to the southwest, and Shanxi to the northwest. Its capital and largest city is Wuhan. Today, Hubei may unfortunately be best known as where the COVID-19 pandemic began, but there's much more to it than that. One other historical event there was the Wuchang Uprising that occurred in 1911, which helped bring an end to the Qing Dynasty, and with it, Imperial China. It also has many famous sites. Possibly most famous is the Three Gorges Dam, though the province also has the Yellow Crane Tower in Wuhan and the Wudang Mountains, famous for their temples that teach Tai Chi and martial arts, and for having given their name to the hip-hop group the Wu-Tang Clan. The name Hubei means north of the lake, referring to Lake Dongting, which is, as you might guess, to the south of this province. The one character abbreviation is E, after the state of E that was located there during the Shang Dynasty. Once again, we'll go directly south to Hunan. This province in central China borders Jiangxi to the east, Guangdong to the southeast, Guangxi to the southwest, Guizhou to the west, Chongqing to the northwest, and Hubei to the north. The capital and largest city is Changsha. Hunan is famous for many things, including Wu Lingyuan, whose scenery helped inspire the film Avatar. It's also known for its spicy cuisine. The locals speak a variety of Chinese called Xiang. Almost certainly the most famous of these locals was a man who rose up to become China's most powerful leader for over a quarter of a century. Chairman Mao Zedong, who was born in Shaoshan, 
Hunan. The name Hunan is the inverse of Hubei's. It's to the south of Dongting Lake, so its name means south of the lake. Its one character abbreviation is Xiang, after the Xiang River that flows through the province. Inner Mongolia is an autonomous region in northern China that is, not surprisingly, designated for the Mongol people. It's the third largest provincial division in China, and its length east to west means that it borders eight other provincial divisions. Tied with Shanxi for the most domestic borders of any provincial division of China. It borders Heilongjiang to the east, Jilin to the southeast, and along its long southern border are, from east to west, Liaoning, Hebei, Shanxi, Shanxi, Ningxia, and Gansu. To its north, Inner Mongolia has two international borders, a very long one with the sovereign state of Mongolia and a shorter one with Russia. Its capital and largest city is Hohot. Other important cities include Baotou and Ordos. Inner Mongolia is probably most famous for its Mongol culture, which is very similar to that of independent Mongolia to the north. The Mongols in Inner Mongolia speak the same Mongolian language. But they continue to use the traditional Mongol script, unlike independent Mongolia, which switched to the Cyrillic alphabet under Soviet influence. Still, despite being home to more Mongol people even than independent Mongolia, Inner Mongolia's population is in fact majority Han Chinese. So Mandarin is the native language of many of its people. You'll see signage in the region in both Chinese and Mongolian. Inner Mongolia is also known for its grasslands where the Mongol people historically lived. The name Inner Mongolia, which is Ne Mongu in Chinese, goes back to the old days when all of Mongolia was under Chinese rule. The present independent state of Mongolia was then called Outer Mongolia. The one character abbreviation is Meng, which is the second of the three Chinese characters in the Chinese name. And with that huge region out of the way, we've reached the end of this video. We'll start up again next time with Jiangsu. If you don't want to miss that, this would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye!